Mike can't hear it. Mike, Mike. It's like, it's like, remember, they've been showing um, Twin Peaks? There's been many years of service and dedication to Peace Memorial Plaza to our veterans with grace and dignity. They are missed, but they are here with us in spirit. We are here today to remember and honor the more than one man and many women who lost their lives for spending a war in the world. From the revolution to the current global war of terrorism. People like Marine Sergeant William Stacey, who was on the fourth deployment to from the Spanish Bolivia. Bestowing on us the gift of freedom. Sergeant Stacy believed his sacrifice was worth it. It's now all to all of us to prove him right. To make sure that his sacrifice are remembered and that their service to this nation will be honored. You're poking me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Julie. Hey, Grace. We got it. You talking about me? I can't see. Oh, yeah. Can I can't see if I don't Oh. 
Okay, now I'd like to ask Sharon Lotto of the American Legion and Jean Francis to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Yes. Father Knapp, Maybe if you Pastor of Our Lady Assumption will lead us in the invitation. The Lord is our shepherd, we shall not want. Converted pastors, he gives us repose. By restful waters he leads us, he refreshes our soul. He guides us in right paths for his name's sake. And even though we walk in the dark valley, we fear no evil, for he is on our side, with his rod and his staff to give us courage. We spread the table before us in the sight of our foes, who anoint our heads with oil, our cup overflows. Only goodness and kindness follow us all the days of our life. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. And together we say, Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. And we'd like to call up uh, Senator Jeff Klein for a few words. Uh, thank you very, very much. It's uh, always a pleasure to be here. And as we stand at uh, Peace Memorial Plaza, uh, we can't help but uh, always remember uh, one of uh, the great veterans uh, in our community, uh, Rudy Messina. Uh, Rudy Messina uh, was a, a very special person uh, in Morris Park. Uh, he loved his family, uh, but most of all, he loved his country. Uh, he was uh, very proud of his service as a United States Marine, and uh, it was his idea to actually uh, have this monument uh, in the first place. You know, I remember many, many years ago as a young staffer, uh, helping him uh, get the permits and you know putting uh, this uh, all together. And I think uh, we have to stand here today and remember Rudy's memory, uh, but most of all, uh, remember all of those uh, who support so valiantly and lost their lives for our country. Uh, Memorial Day is a time to grieve, uh, but it's also a time to remember. Uh, it's a time to remember those who made the supreme sacrifice uh, for their country. And I think it's incumbent upon us to always remember uh, that the freedoms that we enjoy today uh, the coinage used to purchase those freedoms uh, was the lives of veterans. Mm -hmm. And uh, we sometimes don't always uh, remember that. Uh, we don't always remember that we have the greatest freedoms in this nation. Uh, and it was actually because of our veterans uh, who came before us. Uh, I also believe it's a time uh, for a clarion call to remember always to recognize and help uh, those uh, who fight for their country. Uh, I believe a society should always be judged on how we treat our veterans. Uh, so today we remember, but most of all, we never forget. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. Assemblyman Mike Benedetto. Thank you, Silvio. That's okay. I'll I'll uh, I'll yell. <laughs> Good morning, all. Good morning. Today's a wonderful day. It's a day to remember, huh? It's a day to meditate. This is a perfect day for it, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. This gloomy day, uh, we won't be out barbecuing, and uh, uh, we won't, maybe some might go shopping, but let's hope everybody spends some time remembering about what this is all about. Remembering about those who left for foreign shores for, for a purpose. So many of the wars that we fought in over the years, just wars, 
the wars nonetheless, where they put their lives on the line to safeguard the world, to safeguard us, to safeguard our freedom. And they never came back. Many did come back, but many came back wounded, harmed in some terrible way, losing an arm, maybe a leg. And others came back, not outwardly damaged, but inwardly damaged. And I reflect quite often whenever there's some terrible, terrible episode that happens in our country, like the one that happened 10 days ago, around 42nd Street, where people would drive, this guy, the range man, very disturbed driving on the sidewalk. And I never try to make a judgment because I want to find out a little bit more. And when we learned that little bit more about this person, you find out he was a veteran. And you wonder, did he go off fighting in Iraq or Iran and and come back a different person, the person that led him to do that terrible deed. You know, one of the proudest moments that I have ever felt was when I was made chairman of the Veterans Committee up in Albany. And I was very proud of some of the accomplishments that we did in passing good legislation for our veterans. But I always wonder too, have we done enough? Can we do more? And maybe we'll go back to Albany in a few weeks and in the years coming, looking at that and saying, our veterans, we got to do more for them. And that will be our determination. But today's a day to reflect. Let's reflect on those who we love, who loved us, and their sacrifice for us. Thank you. Have a good day, and God bless all of you who put this together. Thank you. Assemblyman, Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. First, let me wish you all a happy and wonderful Memorial Day. But this gloomy weather should also serve as a reminder that we have families that live life in this type of a gloom because they've lost loved ones. See, we forget that it's just not the veterans, those brave men and women that serve, but mm -hmm. also their families. Mothers and fathers alongside of husbands and wives and children and the extended family, the siblings, they all serve. And when they come back, if they come back, in many cases, unfortunately, they don't come back the same way. And those families are again left to deal with their loved ones, those brave men and women. <coughs> so on this great day, we shouldn't just thank and be thankful for the veterans and the men and women that we have that proudly serve this country. And we should thank them on a daily basis. But we should also thank their families who served alongside of them. God bless you. God bless our veterans. And God yeah, bless, bless America. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thomas. 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 <laughs> and he's an electrician. <laughs> Today's a day of remembrance. It is. And today's remembrance of Louder. our children. This is something that becomes incumbent on us as parents and grandparents that we should instill in them the importance of the state. It's not a day of barbecue, it's not a day of shopping, it's a day of remembrance. You know, I got a call last night from one of my granddaughters, both of them, two of them, one's 11, one's 13, and every year she said, no, Papa, they, we love doing what we do today. They go to the cemetery with their kids, and they lay flags on all the graves. And I am so proud of that. They've been doing it for about five years now. And they say it's one of their favorite days of the year. And that's something that our children should be taught at a young age, the importance of what our veterans have sacrificed for our freedoms. So, on behalf of Constant Valley, 
to have a great bunch of elected officials here that's always fighting for the veterans. God bless you all. God bless America. And God bless this area. Props. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Veteran Tony Salabini, American Legion, Bronx County Commander. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Um, you see the guys wearing the caps today. Support your local American Legion post, John Fraser Bryan, post 19. Join. If you can't join, support anywhere you can. Armed Forces Day is for the young guys and girls. Veterans Day are for the older folks. And today, as we know, it's for those who did not come back. So let's always remember that. It's, today is the day to remember those that did not come home. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you. Veteran Jeremy Warnicky, District Manager, Community Report 11. Hey, so, yeah, thank you. Um, I, I, I hate to do this, but I have something I prepared. It's, Memorial Day is always kind of hard for me. Um, aside from I mean, aside from being a veteran, knowing knowing somebody who passed away. 